first impressions. Get ready with me on the new Nomad Royal Euro palette. I'm super excited to dive into this. I received it in the mail yesterday and I'm really excited to play with it today. Hopefully I don't smack myself in the face with it. So this is the outer packaging. Super beautiful. And then the inside has like this raised like 3D kind of print on it. So freaking cool. I love it. And then it does come with a uh, tissue insert. And then this is what the palette looks like. So today I really want to play with the purple shades. And I'm just going to dive right in because I don't have too much time to get ready right now. That's always my issue. But I actually like keeping these tissue inserts because it kind of like helps block the mirror because the mirror can be like blinding reflecting and I never use the mirrors and palettes usually okay where is my mirror it would be nice to find the mirror that I actually use but I guess we're just going to use this one for now so the first shade I'm going to dip into is the shade the ballroom and it's kind of like a berry toned purpley shade and I've seen that these mattes are super pigmented they just have a bit of like kick up to them is somebody here i don't think anybody's here i think my mom's just outside doing something um so i am going out but my friend is gonna be here in like hopefully 40 minutes because for me 40 minutes is definitely like enough time for me to do my makeup but it's not like I have been doing nothing um this whole time um I had to take a shower and wash my hair have lunch I worked out earlier so kind of time got away from me a little bit so I was like oh I have so much time and it is nice when I have more time to get ready but okay I'm gonna come back to the side just because I want to build it up I'm just really annoyed that I can't find my other mirror right now. I think I'm going to use this one because I used to use this one all the time. Oh, I don't like this either. Where's my magnifying mirror? Where is it? The fucking hell. I'm like so mad right now. Oh, it's right here. Jesus. That's better. Now I can actually see. I don't know where the heck it was. It was like hiding behind my other products. Okay, so this color actually translates a bit darker on the eye, which I actually prefer for the colors that I'm wearing today because I'm wearing like this gray tank top with Simba on it and it has like purple. For some reason, they made it purple colored, but... I wanted to wear it so I could do a purple eye. And for some reason, my boyfriend's best friend hit me up to hang out tonight. And I'm like, sorry, I already made plans because I'm going to a game night over my, one of my friend's houses. And we've, we've been wanting to do a game night for a while. I've only been over her house once before because that was for... Becca's wedding and it was kind of like a pre-bachelorette kind of thing where it was just me um Becca and her friends so now I'm taking the shade Buckingham Palace and I am just these are so easy to use oh, dang it that would have been fun he's inviting me over to hang out at his house so Sorry. But I might tell my boyfriend to go. Yeah, we're just doing separate things tonight. Or he might just chill at the house. He might not go anywhere. That's usually what he does. Okay, that looks super pretty. I'm very impressed with that shade as well. Um, So this is now my fifth... Oh my god, these shades look so pretty together. 
Um, this is now my fifth Nomad palette. I just, I cannot believe that I have five at this point. Like, I'm that type of person that's, like, a very strict, like, one palette from each brand type of deal. Okay, so now I'm taking Neptune Fountain, and I'm putting that on the outer corners. And I wasn't sure if this shade was going to be dark enough. But when I swatched it last night, it is a super unique tone of brown and it was extremely pigmented. Like these mattes are so extremely pigmented, but I don't know how Nomad does it where they just build so easily, but they're still super pigmented, but they're not hard to work with. Like they're not hard to blend. Like they just blend like a dream. And they have just become, like, my favorite formula um, besides Odin's Eye and ColourPop. Like, they're my third most purchased eyeshadow palette brand. I now have five eyeshadow palettes from them. I have eight from Odin's Eye, and I have, I think, 30 palettes from ColourPop. So ColourPop is, like, more than a third of my collection. But if I'm going to go back and repurchase from your brand, that tells you something. I just really enjoy their color stories. And when I saw that this palette was going to be full of multi-chromes, I'm like, okay, how am I drooling on myself? Did you see that? <laughs> that was really dumb. I have like ice in this drink and... It's, like, hard to avoid drinking it. Okay, that's, that was normal. But I'm drinking, like, uh, this peach juice from Trader Joe's, and it is so fucking good. It's probably my favorite juice I've ever tried from them. It's so good. It's like, I'm obsessed with it. Like, I want to drink this all summer. All spring and summer. Like, their juices are amazing. I think they have the best juices and teas. They just don't... They don't taste too sugary or too artificial at all. They just taste amazing. I mean, it is... I believe it's 100% peach juice, and it's so good. Okay, so now for the start of the show, we're going to go into that gorgeous purple dual, uh, multi-chrome shimmer and that one is called I don't know why I said duochrome and that one is called St. Edward's Crown and I'm gonna dip into this bad boy I'm gonna get quite a bit on my fingers and I heard that these are super smooth um and very pigmented that is stunning I mean and also I wanted to jump on getting this palette because I don't really own that many multi-chromes. The only multi-chromes I really have are in my own and dye palettes. And they usually put like one in each palette because multi-chromes are very expensive. Oh my god, this look is so perfect for the shirt that I'm wearing because it's kind of berry and a little bit of a darker purple and the colors go perfectly. But this palette is stunning. I need to see if I can see the shift, though. Um, that's just super smooth, though, and so fucking pretty. I guess I'm in a cursing mood today, but you can't really see the shift that much, though. It's kind of like... Just looks like, I mean, you can see the shift. It's kind of pinky purple. Oh, okay, you can. It's like purple, pinky, blue. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a little bit more subdued. I heard that this shade is a little bit sheerer than the other ones, but it's stunning. That is so pretty. So I've been testing out the Cosmic Brushes palette the past four days, but once I got this one, I'm like, I have to try it. I was already planning on trying it anyway. Oh my 
Oh, that's actually really pretty. You can see the shift on this side. Oh my god. That's so gorgeous. Do you see that? I'm in love. And these are so easy to apply. They just make everything so easy. And that's why I love their formula. It's just the ease of use of everything is so so good and i would just recommend nomad to anybody because i feel like anyone can use their formula same thing with blend bunny like they just have solid solid formulas why is that not going all the way all right so i'm gonna go do my base off camera because now I only have a half hour, but we will come back and finish up the eyes. But so far, I am so impressed. I think this is beautiful. Okay, so I went ahead and did my base off camera. I just used my Do It uh, Spray and my e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer, Power Grip Primer um, to prime. And then I just used my Yves Saint Laurent's um, All Hours Foundation. I've been so hooked on this one lately. I just wanted to use it again. So this one's in the shade B10 Porcelain. It just makes my skin look perfect. And then I used the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer in the shade 10NN. I've been loving that too. And then I just used the Pat McGrath. I just want to spray my face a bit more. The Pat McGrath, um, setting powder um for underneath my eyes and then the urban decay oh my god urban decay the urban decay stay naked powder for my face so now we're gonna go back into the palette and we're gonna do the lower lash line so i think i'm just gonna take that purple shade underneath my eye on my lower lash line and then i'm gonna dip into the gold for my inner corners and i think that'll be really pretty so i think that the gold is light enough for my inner corners i know people were um, hoping that there was like a shade that was a little bit lighter for that, but I think this one will work just fine. <coughs> I think it'll be really pretty. So let's go ahead and use that. Oh my God, that's stunning. It's also extremely pigmented. Wow. Holy crap. Oh my God. Oh my god, and I like only dipped like a couple of times. Yeah, I kind of wanted it to be more of like that effect, but wowzers. That is uh, a lot. Hopefully I can match it on this side, but hopefully I can also blend this out a little better. I'm going to have to make that more wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. It still looks super, super pretty. Woo! Oh my god, that's stunning. <laughs> I just didn't think it was going to be that pigment did oh my god okay wow that is so pretty okay and then i'm gonna take and then i'm going to take that purple and i'm gonna dip very slightly because i have a feeling this is gonna be pretty pigmented too so i'm just gonna build it up pretty slowly Ooh, wow and also like People were saying that there was a lot of kick up from these, but I'm not really experiencing that. I mean, I'm like not really dipping too much into these shades and seriously, you really don't need to do more than just dip. Like you don't have to like swipe your brush. You like literally can just dab and it'll pick up the pigment like right away. So that's how I'm using it and I'm not experiencing any of that like crazy kick up. So just saying, like, honestly, you really don't have to go too ham with these. Like, they'll build up themselves, like, really easily, so. Okay, and then I'm just going to take that on this side, too. 
and I'm not really getting any fallout from this either, which is also really nice. Because I can get that with some of their darker shades sometimes, like the dark blue in the Verona palette. Like that dark blue matte can create that kick up, but this is such a pretty look. I'm obsessed with it. Alright, so we're just going to finish up the eyes off camera. I might finish up everything off camera. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to film the rest right now because I just want to finish and be ready because <coughs> I don't want to make my friends wait too long. <coughs> But this turned out so pretty. So I'm just going to do like the rest of what I need to do off camera. See, the thing is that, okay, it's actually not creasing too bad. But it's not the eyeshadow. I think it's the Anastasia eye primer. Especially when I use, for some reason, like the, the their shimmers stay amazingly. But when I use the mattes with the Anastasia primer, and but this has happened with other um, formulas too. Um, for some reason, it'll start creasing, like, right in between where my lid is and the other mat. And it's so annoying, but I think if I just pile these on again, then I think it'll be fine. So let me just, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my bronzer. I'm using the House Labs Light Level 1, and I'm just gonna use that to bronze my skin up. You know what I just realized is that I didn't know that I actually own um two bronzers from house labs um because i have the bronzer uh highlight duo from her older um line and then i have this one and i love that one just as much as i love this one i just use this one a lot because you know it and i am obsessed with this eye look i think it's so stunning i'm also going to be doing two looks in this video because i'm also going to be um doing another look tomorrow does that look good yeah um so for my liner i just use the makeup by mario liner and then for my mascara i use the give by gwen stefani this is the shade this is the black and then i just use my essence lash primer and my l'oreal lash discovery as per usual and now i'm going to go into my blush i'm going to use the give me glow blush in the shade dear diary I saw like a post on Give Me Glow's Instagram yesterday and they were like making another blush that I was like, I want to whip out my Give Me Glow blushes again because I freaking love these. So I thought that this would be a good color for this look too. And these were probably my favorite blushes that I tried last year. So I just want to start using them again because they're so good and they're so pigmented. And they're just like velvety smooth and blended into the skin so amazingly. So, yeah. I'm like, I want to use this again. And then for my highlight, I'm, I think I'm just going to use Blend Bunny. Because I was trying to find a different like highlighter that I would want to use. Like a purpley shift one or something. And nothing really came close to the Blend Bunny. So, and I like using it like any chance I get. I was just checking to see if he's here yet or not. And I think my brother's sick because he keeps on going up and down the stairs and getting tissues every five minutes, so. I can't believe how popular I am tonight. It goes from nobody wanting to hang out with you to everybody wanting to hang out with you. <laughs> but I usually try and see at least one friend a week. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the Noctilucent palette. I don't really have any other time to chat right now. And I'm going to use that... Should I use Philomena or Far Out? I feel like I just used Philomena, but it's kind of a little bit more... But Far Out is so pretty. But I feel like Far Out's a little bit more blue-toned. Should we just use both? I think I'm just going to mix the two. Why not? 
think that will be really pretty. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay. I really like that. I love this freaking palette. I might do, I might tell you guys my lippy later when I get back home because I'm just going to apply it and leave most likely. I don't even know what lippy I want either. I haven't even picked it out yet. But I told my friend like no rush to get here. So he's probably going to be here really soon though. Like, and I'm going to have to film, like, a little clip for Instagram of my book. So, yeah. And right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, fuck. I hate rushing. I really do. I hate to rush because I don't mean to be late. I just, for some reason, can never be on time. <laughs> And I, I, like, hate not being on time, but, like I said, I just managed my time a little poorly today because I wasn't sure if I was going to work out today, and then I was like, no, Caitlin, you should. But I should have spent less time pondering it and more time actually doing it because, all right, let me do my lips. But I might come back later. Okay, so these are this is the lip color I decided to go in with. So I went in with the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Sucker for You. And then I used the lip the liquid lipstick from Lime Crime in the shade Trinity. And I really, really love how this look turned out. So here are the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. Okay, I gotta go because I gotta get my shoes on and everything and I gotta pee. So I will see you for look number two tomorrow. Okay, so hey guys, so now we are going to jump into look number two with the Nomad Royal Europe palette. Before I do though, I did want to give you guys a little update about how the shadows wore yesterday. And these really did hold up really, really well. Honestly, my eye look was probably the only thing that looked good by the end of the night last night because I was laughing so much. So like my... Um, concealer was creasing so much underneath my eyes, but since I kept on doing that, like that's, you know, happens when I laugh since I ha have such defined cheekbones that like my, you know, cheeks like crease my under eyes so badly if I laugh too much. That concealer usually doesn't crease that badly at the end of the night, but now I realize that I can't wear that concealer for a long period of time like that. I can wear it to work and it looks just fine, but like I have to wear my tried and true Tarte concealer for those kind of things because it's still my holy grail concealer. Um, as far as the mattes go, they looked amazing by the end of the night. Did not really crease at all. Um, I did get some minor creasing here because sometimes, like I said, that Anastasia primer for some reason, especially when I use Nomad, um mattes or what I've noticed is that it can tend to crease there but the shimmer stayed on the lid so well there was a bit of creasing and it kind of like came off a little bit but it looked so good still that you could barely tell like it wasn't like the adept shadows where like it's just completely off of your lid by the end of the night and there was no fall there was absolutely zero fallout underneath my eyes even with like the dark shades that I used there was no transfer and absolutely no, like, staining or, or like, you know how you can get shadow underneath sometimes when you do, um, like, very pigmented shadows on the lower lash line or, like, a darker color? None of that. So, I am really happy with this palette so far. So, we're going to jump into look number two. So, I already have my eyes primed with my ColourPop Party Proof Primer. I'm going to see how that holds up. Um, with these shadows instead of the Anastasia primer because like I said it can crease a little bit. So we're going to jump into these shades today and I really want to play with these two red mattes. So I'm going to start with uh, Pena Palace. I'm pretty sure it's Pena Palace not Pena. When I said the shade names in my haul video I called it Pena. 
but again all I do is dab my brush in and you literally get so much pigment picked up that you really don't need too much uh, color so I'm going to pick up a little bit more and again I'm just barely dabbing my brush and I'm just going to build it up in my crease and <laughs> That just, literally, they perform like such a breeze. Like, it really does not take that long to blend out these shadows. That looks so good already. And I just want a tiny bit more. I'm just going to tap off my brush just to get the pigment um, more blended and all of that. So, yeah. Um, so, last night was really fun. Today I'm just going over my boyfriend's house, but he hasn't texted me yet, so I'm kind of just taking my time. I'm probably going to call him in like 45 minutes or so, because um, that's like my cutoff is like before 4 o'clock. Like, I do want to get out of the house within the next hour, so yeah, hopefully he'll text me soon. That looks really good. I love that, so I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. I'm just going to take a little bit more. Like literally just dipped twice into the pan. And with these, I find it's a little bit easier just to slowly build up the color rather than like going in with way too much or like kind of, again, like swiping your brush because honestly, you don't even need to swipe your brush in these because they just pick up so well that swiping isn't really that necessary. So I'm just gonna continue to build that up. I just wanna show you guys how these blend in real time. Cause I find that if, I, if I'm doing like a dedicated first impressions, I really want you to see how the shadows blend out because I usually skip like the other steps and mainly show you guys the eye look to see how they work. I find that that's the easiest way, especially when I'm doing two looks in one video. I don't want the video to be so long where I'm doing like every single step. So it's more important to show how the shadows blend. And so far, these are blending beautifully, super easily. Really no problems and... <gasps> That looks so good. I just need a little bit more in here. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, see that fi fixed it in like two seconds. Just so nice. I think that's all I'm gonna do for that. And then for the defining shade, I'm gonna go into the shade underneath it called Great Hall. I probably could use that as a uh, outer corner shade as well, but I wanna use that deepening brown again. And this is just, they're just so soft, but also, like, there's, like, instant color payoff. Like, you can see, like, they just easily build on the eyes. And that's what I really love about Nomad's formula. Like, that was just so simple. This one is a bit drier, I feel like, but it's very pigmented. But I can feel like it's not as soft as the other shade but it still builds up really nicely and absolutely no issues so that might just be my brush though I don't know if it's the brush or the actual shadow I really need to clean my brushes a little bit better I've been kind of like really bad about that like I always spray my brushes before um, I use makeup the next day like I always spot clean them but like I need to actually like wash all of them Probably tonight or probably tomorrow night would be the best because tomorrow I just have class and then I'm just going to go get my nails done and then I'm going to go home because I've had this nail color for way too long and I'm getting sick of this nail color. It looked great for a long time, but I've had it, I think, over three weeks, so I need to get my nails done tomorrow. I know it's such a first world problem, but yeah. I need to change it up for a spring color. I'm not sure if I'm going to do lavender or like a pastel green, but since I just did green, 
I don't really want to do green again. So either a pastel, I think I'm going to do a pastel lavender because that's the color I really want to do. And I was thinking about like a soft pink too, but I'm like, I just did that like a couple weeks ago as well for Valentine's Day. So, um, so now, like I said, I'm going to take that really dark, deep matte called Neptune Fountain and I'm going to use that on my outer corner. Oh, when I said Great Hall, all I can think about is the Great Hall in Hogwarts in Harry Potter. Um, but I'm, I'm sure that's obviously for a... I think that might be just a general name for all the Great Halls and Palaces, but I'm not really sure. And when people were, like, guessing the destination for this palette, like, people were thinking that it was Vienna, like Vienna, Austria, which they haven't done an Austrian palette yet, but that would have been really cool. Um, they did hint that they might be possibly doing a Irish uh, themed palette because they want to do an, an Ireland color story, which I'm probably going to end up picking up that one too because I'm Irish and I feel like it'll just be a palette full of beautiful, I can see like it would be like full of forest greens and like really beautiful maybe some warm tones and I feel like I'm gonna need that palette but I feel like that would be the perfect maybe it'll come out in the summertime like an Irish summer that would be awesome not Irish summer Indian summer oh my god Caitlin I don't know where I got Irish summer from but it would still be a really pretty like uh summer release as well so i'm just going to put on some glitter glue and then we'll go into another one of the multi chromes okay so for the lid shade like i said we're going to go down the row so the shade i'm going to use is just shade is just shade is the shade royal treasure and this one was actually my favorite when i swatched it because it has like oh my god it's so pretty it's like goldish reddish green so I'm oh my god that one is so pretty oh my god I'm so happy I used this one today that is so stunning oh yeah you can definitely see the shift more in this one than the purple one that I used yesterday not that the purple one wasn't stunning but this one you can definitely see all the different shifts in it and that's gorgeous oh my god that's so pretty that's definitely my favorite shade so far and for me when I'm testing out a palette I want to use all the shades fully on my lid before I give you guys like an update or anything like that because I just prefer doing that that way because I love shimmers and I really just want them all over my lid. I don't really love doing like looks where I have to use like more than one shimmer. And also like since these are multi multi-chromes like why wouldn't you want them all over your lid? Like but I totally understand if people like want to test out a palette that way, but for me I just prefer using all the shades individually. That's just how I like to do my makeup. And then I like putting on like maybe a couple shimmers on the lower lash line. That's like kind of a fun way for me to dip into more shades. I used to not do that as much, but since I have gotten more into that, I love doing it. So, oh my God, this shade is wonderful. Can you see that? It shifts from green to red to kind of like a yellowy brownish taupe that is so stunning wow that is super pretty you can actually see it better in on camera than i can in person because it's hitting the light really well right now i'm obsessed with that okay beautiful i'm gonna do my base off camera and then we'll come back and finish up the eyes Okay, so I went ahead and did my base. I used my uh, NYX Marshmallow Primer and I just prepped with the 4th Ray Beauty Do It Setting Spray. And then for my foundation, I used the Tarte C Water Foundation in the shade 8S Porcelain. I really love this foundation still. 
it makes my skin look so good. And then for my concealer, I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I love this concealer too. In the shade 110 Nude Ivory. And then for my powder, I use the Rare Beauty underneath my eyes. And then I just went in with my, my usual ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder on my face. So let's go back into this bad boy. I don't drop it. And... I think I'm just going to use that same gold shade that we used yesterday on my inner corners because I think it will be really pretty with this look too. Um, and then for the lower lash line, I don't know if I'm going to use anything because I feel like I just want to leave the lower lash line with just a, a brown liner because since these shades are so pigmented, I'm not sure if I'm going to use anything on the lower lash line. We'll, we'll see. I might take that shade Penna Palace just very lightly. But again, since they're so pigmented, it's like, I don't think I really need it. And what I learned from yesterday is that I need like the slightest amount of this. And that's all you really need. Because I want it to be kind of more like just a light sparkle and not like too much. Because yesterday I put like way too much on. I mean, this is kind of a bold look for just going to my boyfriend's house, but I wanted to play with the reds today. And not only are these reds, like, really freaking good, they're also, like, very flattering tones, and they do shoo, shoo up. They shoo up. They show up, like, true red. Like, it might be slightly pinky toned, but honestly, I think it shows up, like, really true to what color it's supposed to be. Because, like, with red shades, it's very hard to make them, like, be red. Like, they, 99% of the time, they show up really pink toned on the eyes. But, like, with the Nomad Hudson Valley palette, there's, like, a super pigmented red in that palette. And it shows up like true red. So that's what I really love about Nomad is that they are, their shades will show up pretty true to pan. And the formula is just amazing to work with. But how many times can I gush about the formula? But I'm obviously going to when I'm doing a Nomad first impressions. And so far I am having a absolute blast with this palette. I think it's wonderful. And it's just so easy to work with. I mean, that's what makes an eyeshadow look enjoyable to do, right? Is that you want the shades to work. You don't want to sit and blend for like a million years. Okay, that looks really pretty. Not too harsh. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I, I was thinking about just taking that shade. Yeah, I think we're just going to take this mustardy shade. I think it'll be less harsh. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yes, that's pretty. I'm taking the, I forget, I don't even know how to pronounce this name, but I'll tell you guys, I'll just point to it. It's the shade Schnaufbrun, Schnaufbrun Palace. It's like a German name, so I cannot pronounce that. Oh, that looks really pretty. I like that. Good choice, Caitlin. I was like, is this going to be pigmented enough? And it definitely is. I don't know why I would question that with these because obviously they're going to be pigmented enough. I do notice with this one though, it's a bit more powdery than the other shades I've used. Surprisingly, because this is like the lightest tone in the palette, so. But absolutely no issues with pigmentation. It goes on beautifully. Yeah, that's really nice. That was a good choice. It's not like too harsh of a contrast, but it still like really ties the look together. It looks really good. Oh my God, I love that. That's so pretty. Okay, I am very happy with that. Okay, so the shade I did go in with was this mustardy toned brown right here. And that's what I used on the lower lash line. So, like I said, I used this shade in my crease. 
and then I used Great Hall to darken up the crease, and then I used Neptune Fountain on the outer corners, because I didn't point to those shades uh, when I was using them, so. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this look. So I'm just going to finish up the eyes off camera and then we'll finish up the face. Okay, so now let's just finish up the face with bronzer, blush, and highlight. I just, everything is such a mess right now. It's like driving me nuts. So I'm just going to use my ColourPop bronzer in the shade Alviva Beach. I'm trying to hit pan on this guy, but also like I use it like four times a week at least because... Once I start using this bronzer again, it's really hard for me to use a different one because I love this bronzer so much. So that's what I'm going to use. I also wanted to use my lengthening mascara from ColourPop today, but for some reason I couldn't find it. So, oh, I just used my Item Beauty um, mascara. I actually haven't used this one in a while and it looks really good. Um, and then I just, just used my LA Girl liner in brown on my waterline. And then I just went in with my Essence Lash Primer and my Lash Discovery on the lower lash line, as per usual. So I'm just going to use Diane. I am obsessed with this look. Like, every look I do, I become more obsessed with. I might even like this look more than the one that I did yesterday. Like, there are definitely some bold colors in here, but I still feel like there's, like, a wearability to them. And I'm so happy I put that color on the lower lash lines because sometimes too much red is like, I mean, I would do it because I love wearing that kind of look, but I didn't think it was necessary for what I was doing today. If I was going to work, I probably would have done it, but um, sometimes my mom's like, you look sick, like having too much red on. And I just didn't want to deal with her comments. Not that I actually care, but also, like, I just thought it was going to be too much for today. So I just didn't do it. Um, but I probably will do that the next time I wear this uh, look again. Um, and then for my blush, I'm going to go into another Give Me Glow blush. I've just been wanting to use these again. And I want to dip into some of my older favorite products. I've been using, I've been using a lot of my newer favorites. So I want to kind of just dip into these. This is the shade One in a Melon. And I'm just going to use that. I literally just dipped once and it's like already so pigmented on my cheeks. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, every time I use this blush, when you, do you, I'm sure most of you have seen Miss Congeniality. But every time I use this, I always think of that song that they dance to, like, for the first, and I can't get it out of my head for, like, a couple of hours. <laughs> um, I sing, you're one in a melon, <laughs> but the lyrics are, you're one in a million. <laughs> so, um, I hope I don't get copyrighted, but I don't think anybody cares about that song, but it's a really good song. It's like a 15-year-old song, um, but it's like the song that they dance to in the, um, in the beginning of the pageant where they're all wearing, like, the Statue of Liberty, um, type of costume, and they're all carrying, like, what state they're from, like a, um, like a cutout of the shape of the state, and they're all carrying, like, the torches for the Statue of Liberty. It's actually really cool the way it was themed. Okay, so for my highlight, I pulled out my Nomad highlighters because I really just want to use a Nomad highlighter for this look. Because I am dying for them to come out with more highlighters. Like, I love their their whole aesthetic and the fact that they come out with different... Um, I can never open these on my own though, and I did keep the boxes. Um, I can never, I would love for them to do, oh, this one's so pretty, but I think I might use the gold just to tie in the inner corner highlights. Like the peach would be so pretty, but I don't know which one I want to use because they're both so stunning. Hmm. This one might be a little too light though, but it's so fucking pretty. 
this formula is so gorgeous that it's like hard for me to not use these sometimes I think I'm gonna go in with the peach though I do want to use this soon though I might use that on actually I might use it tomorrow when I go to class because I might do like the goldish look with this um with this uh palette because I've been using that gold on the inner corners but I just want to put it on my eyes like on my actual lids but their highlighting formula is one of my favorites. It's just so pretty on the skin and it has like this beautiful softness to it, but also it's like intense, but it's not like that super blinding intensity, but you can build it up and it just looks so pretty on the, on the cheeks. Why are my eyes bothering me? I feel like I have something in my eye. Not really sure. And I'm getting cold. It's not that warm today, so I should have put on a sweater already, but I just wanted to finish my look first. That looks so pretty. So this is the shade Sydney Cin Bathers, and it's called Balmoral Beach. I forgot the name of it. I knew it was something that I couldn't really pronounced because every time I say the name I would always mess it up but I also forgot that I was hungry while I was doing my makeup I think I already said that but I'm getting hungry because I did work out before this I wasn't going to work out two days in a row but then I was like oh I might not be able to work out again until Thursday because I usually work out on my days off and when I don't have class but I did work out yesterday and today, so I did work out three times this week still. Even though technically today is Sunday, so today's a start of the new week. Let me tell you the days of the week, obviously. You, you don't know that yourselves. But yeah, it's so beautiful and I just wish that they would come out with more than just an eyeshadow palette sometimes. But the eyeshadow palettes, of course, are stunning. But, like, they just, their their highlighters are so gorgeous. Um, the only, like, other product they came out with in the past, like, year, like, last year, with one of the palettes for the Feats de Provence collection, they came out with lip glosses. So, all right, so let's just finish up the lips, and then we'll talk about the palette. I actually didn't spray my face again, so let's do that. And then we'll go in with the lips. Just use the do it spray again I love it it lasts such a long time too like I think I've had this like I don't even know but like it literally I use this every day and I'm not even like this is like not even technically halfway through like and I use it to prep my face every single day like I cannot believe how long it lasts it's so worth it okay and then for the lips I'm just going to go in with this Tower 28 Lip Crayon in the shade Mix. I think I've only used this twice, so I want to use it again. And it's just such an easy lippy. And I love it. It's just a pretty one. I just wanted to go in with something a bit simpler on the lips since the eyes are a little bit bolder. And my lips are a bit dry today, so it's actually like the perfect lip product to go in with. Because it's kind of like a tinted lip balm. I mean, it is a tinted lip balm. I don't know why the heck I'm like not filling in my lips properly though. <laughs> I was kind of dumb that I didn't have a snack, but I'll be fine. I kind of had indigestion last night from the pizza that we had, so I didn't really want to eat too much today. I'm probably going to have an apple, though, before I leave. 
All right, just gonna finish that up off camera. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Here are the eyes. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think it's so beautiful. The cheeks and the lips. I'm, I love this look so much. I really think that this is top, top quality from Nomad. They really knocked it out of the park this time. I don't know if this might be creeping up to be my favorite palette from Nomad. Like, this is really gorgeous. I feel like it's kind of in a league of its own quality-wise when it comes to them. I mean, I just think that they keep on getting better and better and better with their releases and their formula. This formula is perfection. It's so pigmented, but again, so ridiculously easy to work with. And I'm just loving this look. I love this color combo. And I think it the multi-chrome is so freaking stunning. They are such smooth, easy to use multi-chromes. Like, and I feel like this isn't too much of an intimidating color story for someone that might be wanting to dip their toes into something a little bit more colorful, but also can't find multi-chromes that are a bit more easy to afford and I feel like this is the perfect option and just again the mattes are so lovely and the multi-chromes are gorgeous so I cannot wait to do more looks with this I mean I only have these three shades to use now but I'm so excited to dip into them um I'm intending on doing a blue look on Tuesday and I might use this row tomorrow either that or the cosmic brushes palette tomorrow but we'll see. But yeah, I'm just obsessed. I'm in love with this quality and the formula. And I love it even more than I thought I was going to. Because I was like, oh, I'm not like obsessed with the matte selection. But the mattes are just so amazing quality wise. And I'm just obsessed with this look. I think it looks so pretty. And of course, I love all the other products that I use. So that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at CBW819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. Did you guys pick up this palette? What are your thoughts? And I love you guys so much and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye!